this is the ninth video in a series intended to help you use the features of the Family Search Research Wiki in locating records about your ancestors in Italy. We have been following a case study on the family of Antonia Rossi. In the two parts of the seventh video, we found a baptism record for her, which identified her parents. In the eighth video, we found two marriages for her father, his first marriage to Pasqua Pasquoto, and his second marriage to Antonia's mother. Here is the search strategy pattern that we have been following. We have done the first three steps, locating Antonia's birth record, then the births for her siblings, and her parents' marriage. We're now going to search the death registers for any other clues we can find about the members of this family. Here's how we get to the death and burial records of Vicenza. From this address, go to the Italy genealogy main page. Scroll down to the list of provinces. Choose the province of Vicenza. From the province page in the table of contents, you will click on church records. Here you will find a listing of online records that are available. We click on the link to those digitized records. This record is indexed and here we have a search engine for searching that index. We know that Francesco's first wife, Pasqua Pasquoto, died in 1823. So let's look for her. There's her name. Here we click on death, we fill out the place, and, um, and I'm kind of curious whether any of their children died, so I'm going to put a range in from the time they were married to the time he married his second wife. So this brings up the death record for Pasqua Pasquoto, but it also brings up other death records that her name shows up in. Clicking on a person's name brings up a drop-down expanded version of the entry. So when we expand this one, we find that it is the death record of their child, Maria, who died in 1824. I'm going to expand this one, and it is the death record of their child, Giacomo, who died in 1821. Back to the indexed entry for Pasqua Pasquoto. We can click on this view, which brings us here, and then we can click on this miniature, and we will be able to see the original death record. Pasqua Pasquoto. Her age in years and months. Here is her marriage to Francesco Rossi de Tofio. She was born in this parish, and this is the number of the baptismal entry. These are her parents both deceased. And here in the second page, we have the date that she passed away and the date she was buried. With the help of the wiki, it's very easy to translate Italian church records. You don't need to be fluent in Italian. This Italian genealogical word list will have all the words that you need to know. The links you need will be posted in the notes below this video. I chose a case study from the parish of San Rocco in Cassonia because it's one of the few church records that is available online. More digitized records will become available, and I'll show you how to check the Family Search catalog to see if your records become available from any Italy province page in the wiki. Click on this link, click on places within the province, choose your town, then the topic church records, then the title of the record. Scroll down to the film notes. On the left, you will see the events, births and baptisms, matrimony, which is marriages, morti, which is deaths, then choose your time period. Then you can click on one of these icons. The camera means that digital images are available. The magnifying glass means that it has been indexed. The majority of church records are still maintained by the local churches and will require writing to the priest. Part 10 will train you in writing letters for genealogical research. 
at any time in the process of this search strategy, when the records in the parish no longer give any clues, we assume that the family came from a nearby parish, so then we go look at the parish registers of neighboring parishes. Now you try it. Study the Italy province page for your ancestor's home and see if church records are available online. Then check the family history catalog to see if there are records which have become available recently. In either of these cases, look for a variety of death and burial records that might give clues about the different members of the family. If you determine that there are no records online and that you need to write for them, then go to the 10th video in this series and learn how to write to a priest.